How's it going everyone? This is Jay Rince and welcome to Virginia. So this is a new game that's out on Steam. You are a FBI agent investigating a missing child in some rural town out in the middle of nowhere in Virginia. And I can say that because I'm from Virginia. So I can diss it as much as I want. I played around the with the uh, demo of this game and I, I really love it. So I went ahead and purchased it within minutes of it coming out onto Steam full release. And I think it's a really fun adventure. It's a great story. Um, our main character actually, I don't think she says a word, at least that she didn't in the demo. She might in the full version, but it's still very um, atmospheric. This is the same publisher, it's 505 Publisher. Um, it's the same people that came out with Abzu, which is another great atmospheric story driven game 505 games represent not sponsored this is not a sponsored video nor is it given to me by a code this is my own money so let us let us begin our journey let us find out what happened to this missing boy because the demo was really left you off in a uh, very much cliffhanger I suppose during the summer of 1992, the FBI undertook an investigation in a small town in Virginia. Based on the official records of events, the following story has been written. I don't know if that's true. It would be really cool if this was based off of a true story. And it begins. It begins, my friends. My beautiful friends, it shall begin. Okay. Okay, so this is all new. The demo I don't think was... F the full story. I'm not sure how much a uh, crossover there is between the two. I never saw this before. So. so this is our main character. I'll go ahead and tell you that now. This is who we're playing. We're looking at ourselves in the mirror. I actually... Does she turn her head? Oh, she does. That's kind of cool. So the cursor kind of highlights... Um, when something that you're supposed to interact with pops up. Like I'm putting on lipstick. This is her first day. She's with a veteran FBI agent. We're an FBI agent, if I forgot to tell you that. Um, she's with a veteran, and she's the rookie. So um, as you could imagine, I'm sure she's super nervous about her first missing child. It's pretty intense. Should I wash my hands? Did I wash my hands? No. And like the, uh, it's kind of got this like sway-esque um, style of it, which kind of makes you feel like you're very much this person, which I don't think they actually even told me the name of who she was. What is this? Envec. I don't know what that means. All these paintings are black. I just think that's a thing. I don't, I don't think that was actually, is actually supposed to mean anything. I found pictures ah, I'll just I'll just keep it quiet keep it quiet okay so now we're I think we're going to like a briefing where they're gonna tell us about what we're investigating cuz last time the demo had no story to it really didn't really tell you what was going on what is this, this is a line what the fuck is this this is odd okay so I have to actually move up that's pretty cool that's a nice little addition. Interesting. I'm not sure what's going on. This is like spooky. Am I going to hell or something? How do I move up? There we go. Okay. I want to look to the left. Please let me look. What? Oh. Holy crap. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. I just got my um, FBI thing. My badge. This is my badge. I just graduated from the academy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I thought it was going to be like some alien ass shit. Hello, everyone. What the? Did I just like. What is this? Huh. And it kind of transports you through the neck to the next scene 
So it's not like a continuous um, story where you have to walk back home and shit. It's nicely done. Feels very smooth, the transitions. My computer's on. Fucking weird. Yeah, I like this a lot more. The demo is definitely worth your time if you're still not sure if you want to check if you want to buy the game. It's pretty cheap though. It's less than 10 bucks. Who's that? Oh, that's me. Wait. Yeah, it is me. I have the same nails. Weird. This girl's like tripping ass balls or something. Weird. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a horror game. I don't think it is. Turn off that alarm. Jesus, 5.30. Oh, come on. Stupid alarm. You ever ha have that happen? I don't. I don't have an alarm. I have a cell phone. I think everyone uses a cell phone nowadays. Do you use a cell phone or do you have an alarm? I always told myself I wanted to get an alarm. I think it would help. You know, put it far away across the room. Because occasionally, I hit snooze on my phone alarm way too much. But when you have to, when you have an alarm all the way at the other end of the uh, room, it really forces you to get up. Turn that shit off. Alright, let's look at ourselves in the mirror. Oh, God, she looks gorgeous. Ah, wow, that was a fast getting ready. Oh, gotta put my lipstick on. You know. Oh, yes, it looks so beautiful. Oh, wait. Oh, she gave up on it. She's like, I don't need that shit no more. My FBI badge. That's some dope ass shit, bro. Do you have your badge, though? Because that's just like your little name tag. Do you have your actual identification? It's important. I saw something I could click on. What was it? Oh, I think it was just the door. Yeah, it just kind of highlights. Which is good. Are you gonna have breakfast? You need to turn off that, these lights and everything. It's kind of like a waste of electricity. If you didn't know. I don't think she knew. I don't think she cares. Okay, exit. I'm assuming that's an exit. What the fuck? Okay, so I'm taking a taxi all the way from where I was to somewhere else. I have no idea. Welcome to Virginia. Monday. I leave. I got an achievement, bros. Yeah, I don't get this lost key thing. I saw this in the demo. I have no idea what that shit is. What is that? No one talks to me. I feel like the uh, elephant in the room. Elevator chimes. These are some weird... I don't know why I turned subtitles on. A little unnecessary. No one actually speaks in this game. Okay. Am I going to get briefed on something? Do I have a desk? Do I have to do desk work? Let's uh, let's uh, zoom the room for some highlighted figures. I'm assuming I have to go to this luminous door all the way at the end. Probably. Or this one. Nope. Someone's got to tell me what to do. Right, yeah, I was right. Luminous door at the end of the hallway. That's always where we go. Obviously. Okay, this is a secretary. I'm gonna tell her I'm here to see uh oh no, she she doesn't care. I'm just gonna go see the office of the assistant director. I must have a meeting. Damn son, this room is massive. You got some hell of an office, bro. But this looks a little trashy. That looks trashy, that that wire. FYI. If you didn't know. Oh, he just wants me to take a seat. But he didn't tell me to take a seat. Initiative. That's right. Cord McCarran. All my first case. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, this is my my person. My lady friend. Title of case. Oh, wait. What is that? Internal Investigations. I'm in Internal Investigations. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna spoil anything from the demo. But that just got fucking interesting. Holy shit. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it to surprise. I'm sure we'll find out shortly. That just puts together so many 
blocks. This game has a lot more levels than just a uh, missing uh, boy from Virginia from some random... Wow, where the fuck are we going? Someone is a dungeon dweller, that's what they are. Look at this shit. Dungeon dweller. I was like on the top floor, man. Why am I down here? 316. Wow, someone really is a dungeon dweller. Look at this shit. This is creepy. The flickering lights. That's how you know you're in like someone's shit list. If you get an office down here, you know you're in someone's shit house. Like, there's no getting around that. That is a fact. An actual fact. I found it on the floor. I picked it up and put it in my, my front pocket. I don't have a front pocket. I'm wearing a polo. But if I did have a front pocket, then damn. Who is this? Maria Helperin. Okay. So this is the girl that was on the internal investigation sheets that we saw in the office. That is our first assignment. So I'm like a little mole. I'm a little secret agent motherfucker right now. So I'm investigating her. And we're on a case together. So I was assigned... I'm gonna mess with the radio. Because that's the first thing you do when you get in someone's car. You fucking mess with someone's radio. Yeah, I know. I'm a little annoying. I'm sorry. That's uh, that's the most obnoxious thing to do. I'm just gonna look around. It's been like six hours right now. Oh, I'll look at the case. Missing persons. All right, so now we're gonna find out about our little boy. So let me read this. Reporting Officer Richmond, Office Quantico. He is May 11th, 1992. Blah, 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 blah. That's our boy, and I didn't get to read a shit of it. Come on, game. Let me read. Let me get into my persona of my lady friend who I I don't have a badge I can't really read what my name is is it Virginia oh Virginia kingdom overlook progress valley national forest okay this music is intense er, this TV the, uh, this game reminds me of the TV show that originated in England and they made a ripoff in America. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh my god, I can't remember it. It's about a missing boy. Oh my, it was a great show. I watched both the UK version as well as the English version. American version. Wow, she just stiffed me. She just literally made me pay for the bill. What am I doing now? That was weird. Missing person, Lucas. His name's Lucas. Okay. Knocking on the door. Here it all begins. FBI. FBI. Open up. We're here to investigate a missing person. Your son. Okay. So we got this, uh, this ginger guy. He's a priest. With This is the mom. She doesn't look too happy in this photo. And this is the boy. The only child. No one wants to talk to me over here. Okay. Who are you guys? Who are you squirrely ass motherfucker? You looking up on me? You looking up on me? Don't look down to me, bro. Don't look down to me. You too, bro. Okay. So this is their room. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing looks suspicious. I don't think these, uh, these nice folks had anything to do. What is this door? I can go through this door. What is this? It's locked. Locked door. I guess uh, I guess they don't want me going in there for some reason. That's some sketchy ass business if you ask me. Okay, he's got a cross. So this part is similar to the demo. Um, this part is. So I'll go ahead and put that out there. But after this part, it's all uh, it's all new territory. And the beginning part was new territory for me. So there's a hidden door back here. But what is back here? Ooh, it's a green room or a black room, whatever it's called, where they develop photography because he's into photography. Look at this. He's taking pictures. See this one over here? I think that's uh, this one's a little suspicious. That's like a police officer meeting with someone. Hmm. And here's his little diary. He loves his diary. Oh, 
up so sweet. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Okay, look at this beautiful night sky in Virginia and Burgess County. What the fuck are you breaking for, woman? What the? A buffalo. A buffalo. Look at that buffalo. Why is there a buffalo here? Where are we? I'm, like, I didn't think there were buffalo in Virginia. Well, I am from Virginia Beach, not Virginia, Virginia. Not like the real hard hit in Virginia areas, you know? Know what I'm saying? So, how's it going today? You have a good day. Why, why don't you ever speak to me? This is not a good relationship when you won't speak to your only lover. Okay, she's gonna go get gas, I guess. Oh, she, you better bring that. You, you brought the photo. Good job. You let me know if you find anything, lady. Okay, so now I'm snooping, apparently. That's not a nice thing to do to snoop. You shouldn't snoop on people. But I guess that's... Ooh, I saw one right there. What's this? Okay. Maria Helpern. Maria Ortega. Wait, what? Helpern. Maria Ortega. Hmm. The fuck is this? What you want, bro? Yeah, I'm looking at you. Hi. Who the... Oh, fuck you, you little shithead. I'm gonna fucking arrest you. Oh, you see that bullshit? He just knocked on my window and flicked me off. That kid did something. I guarantee that little fucker did something. Oh, douche. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Get the, oh, put that away. That's why you lock that shit with a key. You don't want that ever happening. That's really awkward. She totally knows. She knows you're up to no good. That is not what you want. You do not want a partner that knows you're up to no good. Tuesday. Ominous. I don't know how many days this is. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Missing persons. Lucas's uh, diary. Let's take a look here. What do we got? A cave. An alien? That looks like an alien. Cannon Observation Center. Okay. That could be useful. We'll check that out. We'll check it out tomorrow. Um, aliens. I did read that this game was like, um, kind of like an X Files s game. I mean, the fuck. Apparently, she also has outer body experiences. Not sure what's that about. Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, you guys are getting breakfast orders. There's that little punk, you little punk ass. Mm, kick you. Oh. Mm, little punk ass, bro. Yeah, you guys suck. Why is the... Is he hammering his door shut? You did something. I'm keeping a close eye on you, you little man. You little weirdo. Okay, this is creepy. Super creepy. I don't care what this game's about so far. I have no idea, but I'm very interested in finding out. How about you, bros? You guys, you guys ready? You guys want to find out what this story's all about? Ooh, that's that guy, the I, the, uh, the, the, the assistant director fool. Oh no! You're gonna run a car into her. This is so weird. The fuck? Buffalo snorts. Aliens. This game makes me think that aliens are involved in this game want to go ahead and put that out there i think aliens are involved in this somehow i think this kid got abducted by aliens Ooh, who are you oh no wait maybe is that the guy that was in that photo in that the green room the room with the red and the and the photographies okay so she's not in there let me go uh, look around here, take a look, see if there's anything else here. Oh, oh, wait, there is something. What is this? Oh, it's a feather. It is a feather, but why? What does that have anything to do with? I don't get it. I'm not sure exactly. Is there anything else? No. Okay, let me go check out her room. I guess that's continuing the story? Maybe? 
maybe? I would assume it's uh it's continuing this story if I go into her room. All right. Let us continue this story one day at a time. She's not in here. Oh. Okay. What do I do? Ooh, a necklace. Let me check out this necklace. Although snooping's a horrible thing, do never do it cuz that's how you get in trouble. Who's that? Is that a woman? I got. Oh. What up, lady? See, I just called that shit. I knew she was going to get in trouble. I knew she was going to be behind her and be like, um, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of my... Look at that. That's a pissed off face. You are making this so awkward, lady, whoever I am. Wait, I can read her badge. No, I can't. Making it so awkward. Oh, this is the little cave that we were checking out. And there's the observatory. This is some beautiful foliage. That's some gorgeous, gorgeous graphics. Wow. That's nice. I like this look. This is some really good feel. I could totally just lay in this luscious grass and just look up into the sky. And you know what? I think I'm going to. So this is where I'm going to end this episode. If you liked it, hit like, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. I will be playing this game again. We are going to find this missing boy and figure out if aliens are involved, which I think they are. So thank you guys. As always, this is Jay Rince. Thanks.